Hey guys, this is Gerider here. I've got the Xiaomi Mi3 here with me. In my earlier videos, I showed you the unboxing and also a quick overview of the hardware. So let me jump into the software and talk to you about uh, the UI that's there inside this uh, device and uh, all these all its little features. Let's talk about the lock screen. So the lock screen can be activated by pressing the power button. So there you see, you see the lock screen here. So it's got the uh, indicator for you to pull it down to lock. So even when you just try and pull it down, so you have other uh, icons which will directly lets you go to the dialer, the camera or even the messaging app. So let me just unlock it and there you see the home screen. You can double tap here and this will directly change the interface of the lock screen to the musical music player. So from here you can start or even go forward, rewind to the music uh, you are just listening to. And I, I, this is a brand new device. I don't have any, um, um, any media inside it. So let me not go into it. So double tap it back and come to the home lock screen. I'll show you it once more time and then you can unlock it as well. And there you see the uh, home screen. The home screen button here. Just keep pressing it, and that will immediately activate uh, the torch. Okay, that's a neat little feature there. So in the I mean, in the darkness, if you are stumbling to find something, if you really want to access your uh, um, Torch, you don't know where to go and you, you don't want to really go inside the, the home screen and find the uh, torchlight application from here that's fine I mean you can just do it from the lock screen all you have to do is activate uh, the lock screen and then keep pressing the home screen button and your torch is on you can also switch it off from there Home screen doesn't have an app drawer like your typical Android uh, mobiles, but it has very similar. Uh, it has a very similar UI treatment like the iOS, and uh, MIUI calls it uh, the um, app desk. So the desk is where you lay out all the icons, and if you want to group uh, icons, you can always add them to folders. I think it's a. Uh, a hybrid child between an iOS and an Android device so I, I don't have any issues with it and um, last I heard is like you can have up to 18 home screens to have all your icons you you could even have some widgets I suppose so let me go and edit the home screen and see you can have you can move apps between home screens you can add widgets you can change the wallpaper and you can even have some effects and let me try and put some widgets okay we have some widgets here okay let me put the widget, weather widget here the weather widget is now added to your home screen that's cool so you can also you can also have your apps in your app drawer along with your widgets another little feature which i liked it was you can swipe the icons so let's say I want to swipe this note icon and it immediately opens up uh, the note so let me see what it actually does when I tap it so when I tap it I see all the notes laid out to me and if I swipe it I can right away add a note to it so it's a quick quick feature quick access to the same functionality so will it work with other applications uh, no, I think it's app sensitive feature and it works specifically on apps like the notes okay so what do we have here so we have the dialer uh, we have the contacts browser and messaging uh, application which is the US sms messaging application on the uh, bottom part and on the uh, actual home screen you have the icons laid out along with a google search bar I'm gonna call my partner in crime, Amar. 
so even the dialer screen you can have different wallpapers let me put him on speaker Hello. hey Amar this is Giri here I am good, I am good. So you are on video now? So, yeah, I am recording this uh, call. Okay, okay. Just to test a feature of uh, this uh, mobile's recording feature. Okay, okay. So you got your uh, device already? Yeah, everything is packed. Okay. Okay, I just unpacked this device and shot an un unboxing video and now I am doing this uh, video. Okay, okay. Okay, so I have recorded it right now. So let's see how it is. Audio recording or? I am doing a video recording and also in the mobile I am recording the uh, uh, audio of how you are, I mean the conversation between us is being also being recording the mobile. Okay, man. Good night. I'll uh, talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Okay. So, the moment I uh, disconnect the call, I get a notification here telling that call has been recorded. Touch to view. So, here is the list of the call and the, there's a timing and the duration. So, I can play it from here. So the recording feature is really neat. The voice quality of uh, the recorded messages is really good. I think it's recording in uh, MP3 format. Let me see the uh, settings. So this is the record settings here. And you can set the recording to automatic. So all your calls get recorded. And also you can set your recording on demand. So right now I have it on demand. I don't think there's an option to change the quality of the recording, but I think the quality which you get is pretty much good. And well, let me go on to the camera interface. The camera interface is uh, pretty much uh, minimal, so you can switch to front facing camera. So, hi hey guys, there I am. So. Uh, the front facing camera has got some neat features it's it also tells me my age so it says age 32 it's perfect i think i really don't know how how they determine the age but uh it's doing uh, it's doing this job correct rightly and there's another feature on top which kind of uh, does uh, some makeup magic for you so if there are three stars and you get more makeup there is one star four star and there you can also switch off the entire feature and you can do one star for slight makeup from here you can switch to video recording and uh, all your buttons get changed accordingly and you have some options fast motion videos some filters on the videos you can have different kind of filters for the videos and some more settings to change your, uh, you, you can also do time lapse interval. That's really good. I, I like the time lapse interval in the early build of Nexus 5, but somehow the update to 4.3, sorry, 4.4.2 uh, 4 removed that la time lapse feature, and I'm getting it back with this uh, Mi3. So that's really good. Okay, so let me switch back to the main camera and let's me see what are the features. So if you get a panoramic mode, you get audio recording. I mean, or not audio recording, trigger by audio. So you can just trigger like that, like a snap of a finger and different skin tones and number of filters. I think filters are quite popular these days with uh, the end crowd. And this device being targeted towards end crowd, it makes sense. And it's got HDR. And according to Hugo Barrow, the VP of International in Xiaomi, uh, MI3 has got the best HDR video and HDR um, photo capabilities. And again, the settings takes you to the same similar kind of settings, which is uh, much more um, context sensitive to the camera application here. 
So the notification tray, uh, the icons are neatly laid out and it's very clear what each icon is going to do with, with icon and the text below it. So you can, uh, with a click, you can go to vibration mode, you can switch to your uh, airplane, you can switch on and switch off your BT. And also at night, you can set it to do not disturb mode. So and I, I, I believe you can also set what the night time is. So when you're... Uh, if you if you set like after 10 o'clock go on to do not disturb mode so you don't get notifications for general calls and even there you can whitelist certain calls certain people with from whom you if you receive the do not disturb setting will be overridden and you will get a call from them and uh, you also get uh, icon to go to the uh, settings page and settings is also laid out neatly so you have two different tabs one is for the quick settings another is for uh, the general settings General settings is very much similar as what you get in a regular Android device. So this one is uh, based on 4.4.2, KitKat 4.4.2. And uh, uh, the notification tray itself is divided into two subtabs. One is the notification area, which says that uh, do not disturb is on. So in this is where you set your exceptions like uh, you can say that uh, if I receive a call from my dad or mom you ring the phone in spite of it being on do not disturb mode. Uh, there is a neat little notification it says that today I have used 7 KB. I use it on my cellular network so I am mostly on my Wi-Fi so I haven't used much. The main selling point of an MIUI on MI3 is the themes. There are lots of themes available for the mobile. So let me go ahead and uh, download a theme which is uh, India specific. Okay, so to download, I have to sign in to my Xiaomi account. I would be exploring all these themes later on, but right now I'm downloading uh, this particular theme called India. So the icons is going to be india specific okay i'll it's while it's downloading you can see the progress in the notification area my theme is downloaded so i'm gonna apply the theme here sorry i just moved my camera okay there you go this is the india specific uh, theme <laughs> It's neat. So all the icons are uh, themed to India, like the elephant, the lotus temple, the Taj Mahal, the tricolored flags. Okay, and how do I revert back to my original theme? Oh yeah, it's in the local theme, so I can go back to my default theme and say apply. That's done here. So. That's a good feature in uh, the MIUI ROM, so it's highly customizable. There are loads of themes available there and each theme's got its own distinct DNA and characteristics. So just go ahead and explore different themes. Calendar, uh, very neatly laid out. A lot of thought spent on the user experience and what actually the user will do. You can choose from 23. Uh, you can choose from the current date which is 23rd today so you can choose uh, month mode and even if you are going uh, to any other month you just click on this 23 and you will go to the current date and it's like uh, a day mode and a month mode and you can add events quickly uh, overall I really really like it and it's very neat very clean and minimalistic design you can go to the clock app from the tools and say clock or you can directly hit the clock app from the clock widget here. So there are four different tabs section here. One is the alarm, another one is the clock. I love the clock design and again this is customizable. You can have your own design for the clock. You can download different clock themes from the Xiaomi store and this is a stopwatch and this is a timer. So uh, again, it's a whole lot of a uh, hybrid between an iOS and an Android uh, treatment, but um, I love what the end, end result and how it uh, finally looks like.
open up the tools and let's see what it's got so it's got a me cloud which is very similar to your dropbox or a box connection to uh, backup all your data into a cloud so this is a dedicated app coming in from xiaomi and also you have the mail which is uh, you can consolidate all your mails from google your enterprise mail and other stuff into one single mailbox and this is a software updater and you have i've already spoken about the clock and this is a recorder it's basically a voice recorder you can uh, to, to take notes or a voice memos and this one is the fm radio and you have i've already spoken about the touch the calculator the compass uh, it's pretty neat here so it's asking me to perform the initial calibration by booming the mobile in the in form of eight so i haven't done it but otherwise it's telling me my latitude and longitude and it also tells me the pressure right now so i think they have some sensors barometer barometric sensors inside it and you have the read me which is basically uh, uh, the uh, manual in form of uh, in in soft copy format and you have the ponpon tile which is the nfc app so that you can touch uh, any other uh, mobile which has nfc and start transferring and you have a uh, bug reporting tool you have the backup tool you have the password storage application and the basic sim sim toolkit so underneath the folders if you have a lot of application you can scroll between them and i like the uh, slight blur in the background apart from the model window layout there uh, so how do i move a particular app to a folder so let's say i want to move this calendar to the folder there so i can just drag it with my one finger and with the other finger i swipe so this is really really cool feature so i swipe to go to the um, home screen where i can find a folder and then i drop it here and if you want to send it back there so where is the calendar so the calendar is here i'm going to send it back so there it is Do we have weather app which kind of tells you the weather they're getting the weather feed from accuweather.com and uh, the user interface is pretty neat there as well it's following some pattern out there so even this widget shows you the time and weather then there's another nifty little feature called the task killer here so you long press on the menu button here and it will go you and show you the all the uh, recently opened tasks and these tasks are running in the background because i recently opened it and that's consuming some uh, internal memory so you can see that how much memory it's consuming it's consuming like 486 mb of 2 gb available ram so i'm going to uh, press this button and instantly all the apps get killed and it clears the cache memory and the memory available is kind of shown there uh, 840 so it killed almost half uh the memory there so memory uh, consumption there so that's really neat feature which available from the home screen with a click of a button and okay this is security tool so security tool has got a whole bunch of features one is the cleaner so the cleaner is an integrated clean master application so you can scan your uh, mobile uh, memory and you can remove all the unwanted uh, junk files you can uh, do clear up the residuals you can clear up the uh, packages apk files which have been uh, hogging up the memory and and things like that and also you have the data usage uh, you can set the limit so uh, right now i haven't set the limit so let me go ahead and set the limit so here it is peak data limit is 1 gb okay and i'm going to get set my warning level at around 93 percentage it's going to warn me and the cycle resets every second of my month that's my billing cycle so additional purchase data so disable that i think it's enabled by default i'm going to i'm not going to set anything there so it's telling me that uh, from the icon i can see that i have this much uh, data left out of the 1023 1023 mb i've used like 7 kb 
and I can also see the statistics of usage I think this is pretty much uh, common in all Android devices and you have the block list application wherein you can add people to your block list it could be either from calls or messages and you can see those blocked calls or messages inside this application and you also have this power application which says that how much power is remaining uh, in this mob in this uh, battery and you have a much more detailed configuration like optimized usage and scheduled switch off switch on time and all those things you can do need little features packed into one application and that's integrated in say the os that's what i like about miui and you also have virus scan and uh, the best part is all these small features if you need to if you want to have it in your android device you have to install separate apps maybe you have to pay for those apps but with the miui you don't have to pay for them and it comes by default with fully working and fully enabled pro versions inside the device uh, out of the box and uh, permissions is something which could be available to android users only if they have rooted their device and put some custom rom inside it but this device hasn't got root access yet you can see that there is no root permission but still i can manage the permission of individual applications that is being installed for example I don't like uh, Facebook accessing my contact list or I don't like Facebook accessing my location so I can directly go ahead manage app permission choose the app and say it's got seven permissions and I can just remove it um, say you you can't read my uh, I am I'm denying the permission for it to read my phone ID I'm also denying the permission for it to read my uh, call logs or, or even contacts and if, if you want to read my contacts, I'm going to ask, set the permission to ask. So there are three levels of permissions, allow, ask and deny. So ask is going to ask you every time this particular app tries to do that, per, that permission. And the permissions itself is kind of uh, segregated into different sections. Security related permissions, privacy related permissions, law. And you can also see the logs of how the permissions like when did Facebook last access your position? So when did Facebook last access uh, my contact list? So all these things you can view it. And that gives you more control over uh, in the mobile. And this is not available in any Android device out of the box. You will have to root it and put a custom ROM to get this feature on. And if you are a person who are who is really not worried about uh, permissions and you really don't care about the permissions, you can just switch off permissions. And that means that permission is given by default to all applications as they ask it. Uh, the private messaging. So you have your messaging application here which shows you a list of all the uh, incoming messages and outgoing messages in a neat threaded fashion but beneath this uh, application under secret gesture like you pull down and then you pull down again voila that comes the private messaging so in the private messaging you can set uh, your people maybe you you, you you can just set all the messages from your secret girlfriend to come into this mess in this area and uh, you don't get message notification but you just get a notification telling that you got a new message and there won't be any home screen uh, readout of the entire message so and you can set like who sends uh, private who, who what are the conditions for a message to come to a private messaging so i can say that uh, x person what if he she, she or he or she sends a message directly pull it put it inside private messaging If you are into uh, any application, if you are doing some browsing or if you are playing a game and you get a call, the call up in the incoming dialer would don't take the entire home screen. So that, be, there's going to be a small heads up kind of notification uh, which tells you that's an incoming call. You can either choose to attend the call or after finishing up the task which you are performing in your mobile, you can close this app and then take the call there. So. That's a neat little feature that's been added in Android anyway, but uh, in the next release, and which is already there in uh, MIUI out of the box. You don't have to do anything for it. So that's it, guys. So I think I've covered pretty much uh, everything about uh, MIUI I've explored so far. So if you have any questions, please do uh, ask me. Uh, you can uh, you can either ping me, you can uh, paste your comments below. I will definitely reply to all your 
comments and questions and uh, as and when I find new features in this MIUI which I'm sure I'm going to do it I will be posting it uh, in as an update to this post so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you already bought this MI, uh, uh, MI3 device all the best and if you haven't bought it go ahead order it in Flipkart register for a purchase and you might get a chance to buy it on the next sale date so thanks a lot for watching this video uh, signing off Giridhar